Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Death Don't Have No Mercy in This Land. <laughs> Death Don't Have No Mercy is an old blues song. It was recorded by Reverend Gary Davis uh, at a similar tempo to this, but it's also been done by The Grateful Dead and John Martin. Both did really slow versions. Uh, if you listen to the lyrics, it's a very dark and uh, uncomfortable song and quite appropriate for the current times. Um, I'm going to give you several versions uh, showing, first of all, the basic melody um, then I'll show you how you can bend around that melody and I'll show you a couple of uh, versions of how to approach a solo. So let's start off with the basic melody which is very simple. when you play it like that it sounds pretty awful it's like when you get an opera singer who attempts to sing jazz or rock um, so we've got to do a lot to it in order to make it down and dirty so one of the first things you can do is to bend some of those notes dirty up the sound and you can do that with uh, false harmonics so um, I've got a video all about this but basically uh, you've got to lower the pressure of the bow and lower the pressure of your fingers on the left hand and by doing that you can draw out a whole range of harmonics and with a lot of practice and control um, you can bring out a lot of different clear harmonics Now you've got a real distorted sound. You can do what I call the harmonica trill, which is a, a trill of a third above. So a first finger and a third finger. Combine this with those false harmonics. And a big slide. And uh, there's a lot of um, notes which you can do as double notes, so the, all the E's. Put your fourth finger or your second finger and play the lower notes as well. And by being slightly out of tune, then you give that uh, dirty sound. So there's some A's you can do that with as well. So let's do the basic melody again, but I'll try and apply all of those different things.
also did a intense vibrato, uh, particularly at the end of the notes. So if you can imagine a guitarist who would be bending the strings up and down that way, and that's what the fiddle player is going to do with the left hand. We can do fills at the end of the lines, so there's not much happening at the end of the first and the second and the fourth line. So you can set aside those uh, little sections for a bit of improvisation. I'll show you what I mean by that. we're actually going to put in there because it comes out easy but it's difficult to think how we're we going to do that and what I'm mostly doing is either the E minor pentatonic or the E minor blues scale so the pentatonic is that is one octave with the blue notes of the, with a flattened fifth you need to do is to first do find one octave of that and then find um, the rest of the that position so and just get really familiar with that up and down um, so what I did for just the fills we can do actually as a solo so totally ignoring the chords I'm going to go through and just play the um, E minor blues scale all the way through the chords are going on merrily by themselves and making what you do sound slightly more interesting rather than you trying to follow the chords around and with blues this usually works pretty well but um, depending on what kind of player you are and what kind of situation you're playing in you might actually want to follow the chords more closely so I'm going to do it again but this time when it goes to A minor or B7 or G or whatever I'm going to actually refer to the chords in some way and it makes it less bluesy and less kind of flowing and passionate but it does make it more musically interesting so just have a listen and see what you think this and I had uh, three or four times round I would do a mixture of uh, the two approaches so I would do some which was just the blue scale and some which was following more closely the chords and finding those interesting notes such as the uh, D sharp for the B7 chord um, which isn't going to occur otherwise so um, always apply different um, approaches whenever possible to one solo. 
If you are on my Patreon page, then I'm going to be doing a um, call and response exercise on this one. So I'll be playing one phrase and then you can listen and repeat back that phrase. And that helps to train your fingers and your ear and familiarise you with um, these kind of blues phrases. So I hope you found this useful. If you would like a copy of uh, the chords and the basic melody, then subscribe and send me an email and I'll be very happy to send you this. I'll play you up with three times around. See you again soon. Yeah.